Hello, today I'm going to do a short tutorial on tight lining my eyes. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then please keep watching. So let's talk tight lining. How do I do it? Well, one of my subscribers, and thank you so much if you have subscribed, and please do consider it um, if you are thinking about it. Um, she uh, said that she struggled with tight lining and it is quite fiddly or it can be quite fiddly. But, you know, I'm one of the sort of done is better than perfect school of thought. So this is what I do. Um, but before I show you what I do, just a little bit about tight lining. So basically what it is and what you're trying to create is a really dark top lash. So it almost looks like you've got falsies on. That's the idea, really, isn't it? And if you look at um, images of older actresses and we're talking about um, older women here particularly who I think benefit from tight lining because it does make your eyes pop or it can do um, they really do their makeup is very concentrated around the eye so they will wear uh, I assume false lashes that's what it looks like and they just have a really dark rim which makes the actual eye you know the iris and all of that pop that is the point of it really I mean oh, do you know I used to love Barbara Streisand's makeup particularly in Funny Girl and all those movies around that time she used to do that kind of wing but it wasn't a sort of the, the sort of classic 60s black eyeliner with the little kitten thing um, it was more of an eyeshadow thing where she used to make them I mean they almost look sort of Egyptian uh, anyway beautiful um, but I can't do that now because I've just, you know, I've got all this saggy skin here. I mean, it's just not going to happen. Every time I try to do even the Wayne Goss thing where, you know, you stick um, a bit of sellotape here or a bit of card and then you draw a thing. As soon as I've drawn it, it all goes, <laughs> it's hopeless. So tight lining and for me, eyeliner as well is the, is the way that I feel I can make my eyes pop. Anyway, enough about that. Let's hop into it. So I've got all my makeup on. Uh, I've got a foundation, I've got powder, I'll list all the ingredients below, I've got lipstick, I've done my eyebrows, so I'm absolutely ready to go. And the first thing I'm going to do is use this fab pencil, this L'Oreal Le Liner in Cashmere Noir. Now, there's just one thing, when I do this, I might have to stop talking because I do find it quite difficult to talk, tight line and do my mascara at the same time. So I hope that you will be able to see what I'm doing. This is the pencil, by the way, it's retractable. And it's really nice and dark, actually. Let me just swatch it for you. See how nice and dark that is. I'm just gonna move my mirror into shot slightly. And what I do is I, I mean, it is a bit gruesome. So, you know, if you, if you don't wanna look at my eyes, look away now. If you don't want to look at the inside of my eyelid, look away now. Um, I'm going to lift my eyelid like this and I'm going to get the pencil and I'm going to draw a line on the waterline. Actually, I will just say something. The other day I discovered a fantastic ophthalmologist in the States whose name I've forgotten, but I will link her down below. She is actually a trained doctor ophthalmologist and she talked about tight lining and she did talk about just being a bit careful and um, so probably not doing it every single day because obviously one isn't really meant to be putting pigment or you know product on our the rims of our eyes and obviously this one as well the bottom waterline and actually by the way waterline <laughs> this is the other thing she said that was interesting waterline is a cosmetic term a beauty term it's not an ophthalmologist's term at all and there is a term for it which I've forgotten but there are little glands in there that secrete oils that protect our eyes um, so just be aware that it's probably not something you want to do every single day you know and just in case but I mean I will link her video down below for you because it is an interesting watch and she does it herself so she does enjoy doing it um, but anyway I digress slightly so I'm going to lift my eyelid up I'm going to get the pencil and I'm going to place it and kind of you know, move it around to get the desired effect of this blackness on my waterline, but I'm not going to speak while I do it because otherwise I'll screw it up and I don't want to put a pencil in my eye. Hmm. Hope you can see this actually. It's going to move the mirror to the side a bit. Thank you. 
there so you can see that's got black around it and this hasn't so I think you can see already that there is a difference between this side and this side in terms of its enhancement if you want to put it like that um, so that's step one now the other thing I could do is and some people do do this is you then lift the light, uh, eyelid again and you kind of push the product into the lashes I mean I personally don't know whether that makes any difference well I'll try should I try it yeah I'll give it a go just again I won't speak while I'm doing it just I know what's going to happen though oh actually that's not too bad there is a little bit that's got stuck on the end there but I don't know whether that's made much of a difference anyway I'll do the other eye now got slight hay fever well not slight hay fever I've got terrible hay fever at the moment so forgive me if I'm slightly sniffy okay so that's just the waterline as you can see I'm going to tidy that up in a minute that's just the waterline now I'm going to try and push the product into my lashes as well Right, there we are. So that's that. Right, let me tidy up that little smudge at the side. Okay. Yeah, actually, <laughs> the left eye looks a bit more, um, looks a bit blacker than the right. I don't know why that is. Let's have a look. Okay, let's just, let's just put a little bit more product into the right eye. It, maybe it's just a little bit more watery because of my hay fever at the moment. I don't know. Anyway, to be honest, both eyes, neither eyes, um, are not symmetrical, my eyes. This is a lot droopier than that one. Right, okay, so we've done that. So the next thing we're going to do is I'm now going to eye, uh, eye line my eye. I'm going to put eyeliner on my lid as well as extra because I just feel that you know, if, if I'm going to do, you know, if I really want to go full, I was going to say full frontal, I don't mean full frontal, but maybe I do mean that, um, then I need to um, put some eyeliner on as well. So I'm going to do that. And I'm just not going to talk while I do it again, because otherwise I know I'm going to screw it up. It's quite a thin line, she says, talking. It doesn't have to be tidy. And actually, I think I'm going to go right into the corner. Don't worry about it being a mess at the moment. Oh, right, there we are. So that's a bit of a mess, but that is okay because what we're going to do next is we're going to get this nice flat brush. I looked at the side of it and I honestly can't remember where it's... Oh, the side is there. It's from NARS. Okay, and I'm going to dip it into this Bobbi Brown, very well used, um, sable, no, saddle, I beg its pardon, saddle. And what I'm going to do is kind of neaten up a bit, although not terribly, <coughs> sorry, tuck that off, the eyeliner. I'm not going to talk again, sorry, just while I do this. I'm just push it into the lashes. Sorry, I've got the windows open. There's obviously a lot of activity outside. Okay, that's looking better. See, that's already tidied up a bit. Ooh. Yeah. Although, actually, funny enough, one looks slightly blacker than the other. Right, let's just darken that a bit more. The right eye is obviously going to be the difficult one today. Mm. Yeah, that's coming along. Right, I'm just going to tidy that up with a cotton bud. 
and the corner. Oh, that's better. Okay. Now, I'll tell you what I am going to do, because I've noticed, let me just go back in with the liner, what we don't really want are any gaps on the lids, and you can probably see that there's a bit of a gap here. We don't want to see any skin, if at all possible. I mean, it will be, it will kind of be covered up by the mascara. That's better. Yeah, that's better, that's better. This one, I think, is okay. I think that's okay. Now, I mean, they do look slightly different, I know, but my lashes are slightly different. Okay, now, as you can probably tell, or as you can see, <clears throat> what's happened is the rims, the bottom rims of my eyes have sort of automatically <laughs> got something in the waterline, which I presume is just from me blinking. Um, but anyway, that's fine, because I don't really want to tight line the bottom part of my eye. I think it can make my eyelid, um, eyes look a bit small if I tight line the bottom rim. So I'm not gonna do that. Right, the next thing I'm gonna do is do my lashes. So we're gonna use a primer, which I really, I haven't used this for a few days, but I do like it. It's um, L'Oreal Lash Paradise. So let's pop that on just to really make the eyelashes go with a bang. I've been away this last week, so I haven't used any lash primer. I tried to go fairly minimal while I was away. So I didn't do a lot of, just get a bit more product on there. I didn't do a lot of makeup, I did some, because I do like to put something on every day. I mean, very occasionally on a Sunday I might not but usually I do. <clears throat> there we are. So I just had to take a sip of water there. Okay, so now we're going on to mascara, and this is Sky High Mascara. This is a funny one, you know. I didn't, um, it was recommended by somebody on YouTube, I've forgotten who now. And this is the wand, it's one of those rubbery ones, and I was thinking, oh no, I'm not gonna like this, but I thought, well, I'll give it a go. You know, there's a lot of enthusiastic comments about it. Actually, I have to say, I'm kind of warming to it. Um, Anyway, let's pop this on. Oh yeah, it seems to work quite well. I don't know if I'd used it, tried it with um, with the primer, but actually it's rather good. I do try to wing out my lashes at the side, just to give the illusion of lift. <laughs> so I'm gonna put two coats on, so we'll do one coat. And then the other, my lashes, so story of my lashes are that they used to be like stalactites. They were absolutely dead straight, very sparse, not thick at all, just like the rest of my hair really. And um, I've been having them lifted for quite some time before lockdown. And I think I had them lifted on in the February before the March lockdown. And also I'd been using growth, uh, Lash Growth Serum, and actually I must do a video on that. I, I, I think it's been a miracle for me anyway, it's been amazing. And I use Rapid Lash now. I used to use Revital Lash, but I use Rapid Lash. I just thought I'd try it because it's about half the price and it's, I think it's equally good. Anyway, what's really interesting is because I was thinking, oh no, my lashes are gonna droop like mad when I won't be able to go to the salon. It will all be disastrous and bloody, bloody, blah. Well, wouldn't you know, they seem to have stayed lifted. It's a bloody miracle. I don't know how that's happened. It's amazing. Um, so, yeah, so I'm, it's all good. So as long as I keep using the Rapid Lash or something similar. Yeah, it's not too bad. They're slightly clumpy, but, you know, what can you do? Done is better than perfect. That is my motto. Well, for most things, not everything, obviously, but... You know, I'll tell you what, I, th I don't know if I said this before earlier on, this is one of the, <laughs> the lovely things about getting older, is your memory is not quite as good as it could be. I always think it's because actually what we've got in our brains as we get older is we've got so much information that when we're trying to retrieve it, you know, when you can't remember a word for something or a name of a person or whatever, it's like one of those, is it Rodelex, where you're kind of scrolling back into the canyons of your mind into your memory going, oh, it's there somewhere, is it under B or whatever? <laughs> you know, we just got more of that, haven't we? So 
Um, anyway, uh, now I've completely lost my train of thought. I was going to talk about eyelashes. I don't know what it was. Anyway, never mind. It couldn't have been that important. Well, I don't think that's too bad. They're a little bit... I'll tell you what we'll do, actually, in a minute, is we'll get the brush. And, oops, and we'll just thin them out a bit. Now, I know a lot of people don't wear mascara on the bottom lashes, but I really like it. I think it just finishes them off for me anyway. So I use a different mascara on my bottom lashes and it's this one, this MAC Giga Black, I think it's called, uh, Extended Play, yeah. Um, and I Giga Lash, not Giga Black, well, maybe, no, it is Giga Black. And this is the brush and it just uh, it doesn't smudge this one under here. So I find at the moment, but I'm not getting the smudges I used to get. Oh my god, I used to get horrendous smudges before. But actually, this combo seems to work quite well. She says smudging it with the brush. <laughs> Never mind, I'll wipe that up with a Q-tip. And then what we'll do is we'll do the little brushy thing with the lashes just to see if we can thin, not thin them out, but stop them looking quite so spindly. Oh, just catch a bit there. That's it. Very good. Okay. Mm. Pesky bit there. That's it. And then this is a one of those spoolies. I probably got given it when I went to get my lashes done. Actually, I hopefully will be able to thin out. Oh, there goes a motorbike. Sorry. Thin out. My lashes just a bit. Why is there a smudgy bit? That's typical. I know it's probably because of this blooming hay fever. Oh my god, it was so bad. It just suddenly came on. And um, of course, I didn't have the right medication with me because I was on holiday. Right, I think that is pretty good. So you can see, I hope you can see, let me put my eyelashes down. I mean, my lashes are a bit clumpy, I'll give you that. But hopefully you can see that the tight lining and the eyeliner has made a difference. I haven't got any eyeshadow on, by the way. I've just got um, primer and powdered lip. Actually, we've got a bit Jackie Onassis with the black eyeliner and the black dress. This is actually a summer dress. It's first on, uh, it's a Gap um, summer dress that I bought a few months ago when I had a feeling it might be hot this summer. No, I didn't have a feeling. I didn't know it was going to be hot at all, but just in case it was. Anyway, I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And better yet, consider subscribing to the channel. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.